Ilya Milyarchuk, also known as Yatoro, born March 12, 2003 in Bucha, Kiev Oblast, is a Ukrainian Dota 2 esports player. He learned about Dota 2 from his older brother and began playing the game in 2012 to 2013, at the age of 8. At the age of 14, Yatoro had 6,000 rating points, he played in the 4th position semi-support. In the 9th grade, Yatoro set a goal for himself to break into esports, a decision his parents supported and understood. In the 11th grade, he joined a team for the first time and earned prize money. After graduating from high school, Yatoro initially considered a career in journalism or criminology but ended up enrolling in a correspondence course in the Faculty of Geology, which, as Ilya recalls, he never actually attended. At the beginning of 2020, Yatoro and Maxim Afanasiev formed their own team. Subsequently, they received an invitation to try out for the Nemega team, but the players declined even before the results were announced. Yatoro followed a similar pattern with invitations from Team Empire and Cyber Legacy, and his test for the team, Bait, also proved to be unsuccessful. Yatoro then joined Team Yellow Submarine. And after decent showings at at ESL 1 Germany 2020, Dota Summit 13, and Epic League, he was later picked up by Team Spirit. Yatoro is part of a team with a roster that may not be well known among Dota 2 fans. The lineup includes Toronto Tokyo as their mid, Collapse as the offlaner, So Bad in the position 4 role, and perhaps Mapashka is more recognizable due to his longer tenure and previous stint with Team Empire as a support. Yatoro's journey to the international was challenging. Despite finishing in fourth place in the first season of the CIS Upper Division, securing their spot for Season 2, they faced disappointment by failing to qualify for the Singapore Major. In early February 2021, So Bad was removed from the active roster and replaced by Mira. Following the addition of Mira to the roster, Team Spirit began to show improvement, particularly in their team fights. In the second season of the CIS Upper Division, Team Spirit secured a second-place finish, trailing behind Virtus Pro. This achievement qualified them for the group stage of the We Play Ani Major. They began to define their playing style and fans started to take notice. However, their journey in the Ani Major wasn't smooth either, they even had to face a tiebreaker against Liquid to secure the last position in the group stage. In the first round lower bracket, they secured a victory against Alliance. In Game 3, they showcased an impressive performance, and only give two kills. You know what I, call that? I call that Dragon Light. And with this Spirit, might just reset. They could just keep going though. They have nothing to worry about, I don't think. Collapse. There's the oh, Horn Toss gosh. into the Skewer S4. He will not have buyback for this, and yeah, he drops 70 seconds on the deck, and Team Spirit look to be taking this in a Gaben level shellacking, I have to say, Cinder, and this is a mega stomp. There is the RP, not even getting the Warlock ult off. Does have After the game back, against Alliance, Yatoro lost against Vichy Gaming. I don't know if they have enough items. They still didn't uh, use their BKBs. They're gonna try. They've got to try. Link Spear, the Cataclysm comes in. Down a half HP. They're trying to burst through him so quickly, and they get him with a deafening blast. Or he's gone. But Yatoro trading out as old 11 and Poyoya move towards Mira. Oh, hello, another arena. Where's the spear? God's rebuke back. Healing ward down. They can't find it just yet. Collapse will Omni take down the healing. And Poyoya, he's going to spin back to safety. The right clicks aren't enough. Well, the die back on the invoker. Great Laguna Blade catch. And the Omni slash. There's the second one. Finds collapse. A triple for Poyoya. As a result, they exited the tournament in 7 to 8 place, earning 200 DPC points. This outcome contributed to Team Spirit's failure to secure a direct invite to the international. However, all was not lost. Team Spirit still had a chance through the Eastern European qualifiers. They confidently progressed through the upper bracket, encountering minimal resistance until the upper bracket final. In a thrilling comeback during the deciding game 3 against Hellraisers, they secured a spot in the grand final. 
finds the bash onto Rezo. Solo Kronos for that one with the extra system afterwards. Earth Splitter coming out. Toronto Tokyo finds the finish. Rezo dead. No buyback. Cool man. Now it's trouble as well. Team Fear trying to make it happen. They have to run away from Lil. Guitaro turns back, takes him down. Dead for 100 seconds. No buyback either. Team Spirit streaming forward. They're all running down mid, wanting to get the kill. The RP is there. They're gonna find the finish on to Cool Man. End it. I mean, that's the question. They're gonna go for it oh, yeah. for oh, Guitaro. Yeah. Pops the refresher. He's ready to go with that second round now. And Cool yeah. Man, they have to come out here and fight. They don't have Rezo. The jump forward skewering him away. They pop the Stone Gate. Lots of damage. Trying to take down one. Can they get him? Chrono there no connects play. on him, both of them. Great combo, and it's too much. Too much. With that, Team Spirit are in the Grand Finals. The final series against rivals Team Empire was intense, ending in a close 3-2 victory for Team Spirit. Is there. Maybe try and do the pullback with the uh, Kunkka shenanigans if they wanted to. Uh, the Tornado didn't manage to purge that DD road. As Team Spirit try and safely siege this high ground, they pull him back with the Bushwhack. Sunstrike, oh, that was a little bit off the mark right there. Actually jumps back in and going Damn with it, the my Satanic. God. All right, good to go. Dagger, going to connect. Have another Tidal Wave. Leave my base, get out of here. I don't want to see you. Trying, but they're not leaving. No, they're not getting the hint. <laughs> like, guess after a party, they just won't go. Oh, jump in, and the call is there. Yet again, great follow up from Aposta. They have the terrorize. Can they kill him off, actually? Shara, oh, the big old crick comes through, finds him at the end, and they take down two. Only one core remaining. They find themselves the Enchantress, buys back on that Kunkka, but Encha's dead. Trying to take down Yatoro. Satanic is out. LSA to stop the pressure and the turn now. On to Smiley Knight. He will fall. Has buyback. 80 seconds on the sideline though. And without friends. Black pretty on to Smiley Knight. They want to find that back line, but the first crown is there. Oh, the stun. It catches oh, that. And there's the call. What a connection. Yatoro jumps in. Never a chance. Team Spirit makes the play. Finds the kill. They're going to TI Trent. They're going to be very happy about it indeed. 54,000 gold lead, but the throne going to go down. Well played, Brad. That's what you hope to see. Team Spirit makes it happen. Maybe not the way everybody expected it to happen. With this triumph, they secured the CIS qualifier spot for TI 2021. All silent. The call of the ages will not be ignored. The young squad entered TI without high expectations. The untested nature of the team, coupled with the perceived weakness of the CIS region, led many experts to predict an early exit, potentially after the group stage. Additionally, the lack of significant prior results made it challenging to gauge their skill level, resulting in widespread underestimation. Despite the challenges, Yatoro successfully secured a spot in the upper bracket. Yatoro did epic turnaround in game 1 against IG and displayed exceptional skill with Morphling and achieved his first ever rampage in the international. Smoke is popped. Oh, he must just okay, straight in. jumps in. He's getting decimated, but there's a save from Ollie for now. But no, there's too much damage to withstand. He does not have buyback. Oh, the JP spear. is next on the list. Double kill for Yatoro. As it looks like Blacklight with the BKB will get out of dodge, but a triple kill now for the Morphling. And nice arena from Collapse, they find Flyfly. This will be an enormous kill. He turns into Monkey King for just a moment. Ultra kill Yataro. What a turnaround from Team Spirit. And make it a rampage. Yataro, Beast Mode enabled at TI-10. Although they experienced a setback after battling Invictus Gaming in games two and three, causing them to drop to the lower bracket, with score one to three. It's GG is sending power, right? GG is IG take game three in a very convincing fashion. In the lower bracket, Yatoro began to dominate his opponents, securing victories, including an impressive 2-0 triumph over the team Fnatic. In these two games, Yatoro managed to achieve an exceptional feat by not even dying throughout the matches.
like this, the game is blown completely open. Fnatic, they've got to defend without their storm. Another 40 seconds, he's going keeping himself alive as they take down another DJ to fall. Has to buy back on the Ogre, and if you look, just hero after hero keeps on dying from Fnatic. Yeah. Jazz is going to drop, they keep on turning on to more. Toronto, Tokyo, this is an absolute slaughter as they find a bow triple kill for Collapse. Somebody make it stop. Yeah. GG, they're done. They just let it go. 25 minutes, Team Spirit. There's much farm in the game, and it is just the fact that Spirit, of course, Collapse is an incredible player, but they are still appreciating and observing. Remember, just yesterday, Quincy Crew was able to come back after a pause. We'll see if Fnatic can do the same here. Do you here. want my trusty shovel? As they turn now on to Julian, gonna find a quick kill. DJ turned upon, he dies as well. Team Spirit, no more messing around from them as they focus down the throne. One by one by one, death will die. And more to follow as Team Spirit is gonna close this one out and end the dreams of Fnatic. They get the good luck going next. From we can make a portrait out of the illusion. So he's just not casting disruption on Luna. And if you portrait us. In the next lower bracket match, Yatoro and Team Spirit showcased the Magnus combo executed by Collapse, leading to a convincing 2 0 victory over the two time TI champions, Team OG. Looking for it, Seb. He has a big one. The echo comes out, catches on the boat, but the hex is there to turn it in the winter skirts. Skewers them both together, tries to find it. Oh, RP and now, do they have enough with the empower the big amount of damage coming out on the Seb? It was looking good for a moment, but in the end, it wasn't enough. Do they have anything else left in the tank? The chase down another great impale on the Sumail, catching them now. They get the sprout, but they've got a pun in there with them. Yotaro chases, right clicks, dead, done. OG. They got a life stealer that OG need to deal with. Throws out that tornado, gets the lift up, the pullback. Skewer, catch, Thompson in trouble. On the other side, they're also battling it out with Seb. The, the chase is there, and Thompson going to fall. Mirror jumps in, gets the finger of death finish. Collapse off to the side. Makoshka not going to be found. They get the skewer, or rather the shockwave, into the kill. And for more. He blinked in. Collapse. This guy's a little bit crazy. Thompson Sumail looking for an opening there. They spot one avalanche. Walk forward. They mech, but the save is out. And now Sumail BKB. It's going to wear off soon. Has to back out of there as Yadro chases the winner's curse. It's going to connect. And afterwards, Thompson, he just has to disrupt it, but no, he can't get there in time. The jump in. Zap tries to salvage it. Is it enough? The evil scepter lift up. Mira goes down, but they pull it back in for more. Yadro too strong on this life stealer. Three dead, no buyback. Is this going to be the end for OG? And Soxa also to fall. Everybody's gone. Side of it. Oh my god, he's just going for the spider legs through. They get the vision. OG, there's nobody left alive. After the victory against OG, Yatoro and Team Spirit continued their successful run by defeating CIS rivals Virtus Pro with a 2 to 1 score. In lower bracket round 5, Yatoro faced Team IG, the team that had previously sent them to the lower bracket. This time, Yatoro avenged his defeat and got his second rampage in TI, further solidifying his reputation as a formidable force feared by other teams. Jump over Toronto Tokyo, he's looking for his target, but he gets caught over the head, fly, fly! He's into the backlines, he's got the chrono down onto Yatoro, he needs more damage, far! Is he gonna be able to take Yatoro down? He is, that's the age, he's gone! A second chrono, locks the dude, the down, Evo is able to wrap him from the side, on to collapse, he goes, collapse! We'll drop the two dooms, but collapse will fall! Static Storm controlling Flow Flow, as Yatoro gets out of the second round of the chronosphere, over towards the leading go. JT drops the Echo Slam, but they're all falling on IG, it's an ultra kill! Yatoro's journey continued into the lower bracket final against Team Secret. Despite a loss in Game 1, Yatoro once again went on a rampage with Sven, achieving his third rampage of the tournament, a feat never achieved in TI history. Shortly after, great oh. curse! Yep, that's a huge curse onto three heroes as Team Secret get RP from Collapse, and the right clicks are there from Yatoro, triple oh kill for him! Making an ultra kill. Will he get another rampage at TI-10? Absolutely, Yatoro does it again, Cinderin. Holy Jesus! Yatoro responds. 
Oh, they're definitely going to go for this. 100%. And over. they're going to call GG. The underdog story is still alive. Team Spirit. After dominating the big teams throughout the lower bracket, Team Spirit faced the undisputed favorites in the grand finals, PSG LGD. LGD had only dropped two maps in the entire tournament, including the group stage and playoffs, and seemed unstoppable. It's the team everybody expected in the finals against the team that nobody expected in the finals. I want to start by talking about PSG LGD. They're the favorites for the tournament. They ended up winning 15 of their 16 total matches. However, Team Spirit quickly doubled PSG LGD's losses in the first two games, establishing a surprising 2-0 lead over the championship favorites. As a grant as quickly as they head out. Collapse. He's gonna look for the set of here outside of the base. Another BKB force. Faith Beyond trying to head back to the safety of his teammates. The ensnare locks him down. The illusion is starting to go to work. Remnant left in the position. They drag him back with a spear into the finger. My goodness, the Lycan gets absolutely destroyed. And Toronto Tucky is not done. Diving up to the tier force. Committing with the civil He's trying to go for GQ. Will die underneath the task. But he's got the Aegis. He's ready for round two. Yeah, I mean, it's just the micro decision making from Team Spirit is so beautiful to watch. I think every time a hero pops BKB, within half a second, there's a Naganet flying at it. And in the fight, you saw Ahmed pops BKB to try to man up and fight. And then the net comes, immediately has to pop his ultimate. He can't use the enrage the way he wants to. He's forced to use it defensively all the time just to break the net, just to be able to stick on top of the targets. Just trying to clear out these illusions now. It seems... It seems all but impossible. The Reacts dying, the melee Reacts will fall. They get the jump on a Yatora, but they've already lost Y at the start of the action. BKB from Ame, he's trying to stay on target, but Yatora is able to sing their way back to safety. And now he's ready to go back in. After a dominating performance in Game 1, in Game 2 Team Spirit managed to pick Magnus to collapse, and Yatoro opted for Luna to increase the pace of the game. This decision was influenced by LGD's choice of Morphling for Ame. Давайте хотя бы кунку. Ну, у нас контрпикнут потом. Давайте кунку и потом возьмем Федя. Я думаю, просто нет контрпиков сильных. Ну, мы же даем ему возможность контрпик. Я понимаю, понимаю. Да я Илюш, короче, доверился. You know, it's very scary. If you don't have that really quick burst, you don't really want to take it right now for Team Spirit. But they forced out some rotations at the very least. They got to try to hold this tower, I think, or else this really oh. wasn't worth it. No IO save this time, though. That's the danger of the relocate. Nothing to say outside of vision. They don't see him. Now they do. The pullback going to be able to get that skewer. The <laughs> vision not quick enough. And nothing to say goes down. Now looking for more. Ame has to be careful. Zink you there as well. Oh, Ooh, but Ame nice. with the waveform through it. Brilliant play. And on this afterwards. Now the chase looking for more. Can they control? Do they have enough for the kill? The terrorize comes out, but he got the strength form off. Faith Beyond jumps away. The skewer back on to two. And the RP. Oh, collapsed it into him again. And look, they're just surrounding him. There's no chance to help. They have oh. the fire. You have the shaker, but. There is nothing else left in the tank there for Ame, although trying to TP out, but the stun comes through right at the end. And LGD, another triple kill for Yatoro. And why will Yatoro up front and center? <laughs> nothing to say, they jump in, there's the control, the damage out, but Pochka's dead, buys back immediately. Yatoro turns to fight, destroys nothing to say. They've got him, caught to the side. Ame in some trouble, hitting from the low ground. How many misses are there? It doesn't matter, as they chase him down and kill him off. A great win for Team Spirit as they will find more and more. Unbelievable. Oh, the chase continues. Yaro just chases him down. And Echo afterwards trying to buy a little bit of space. Nothing to say, but can they kill Collapse? Trying to take him down, but no, it won't happen. On the side, Toronto Tokyo will fall. With a big stun afterwards. Yaro moving in. He's big, he's bad, he's Luna trying to kill him off. The fear, the pullback. Collapse, he's got him. Zink 
kill. Look, they did as well as they turn and hit. Another one bites the dust, but they buy back now. On Sing Q, Faith Beyond getting absolutely shredded. Yadaro is too big as they catch him in again. They push back, they got him caught and gonna maybe find the kill. Nothing to say, down low, dead. Another huge win, Team Spirit. They won't be denied. The Horde Toss catches onto ZQ. Oh, and Yaro just slaughter. The way they play these fights, they're so in sync with one another. GG oh. is called. They call it a Cinderella story. Well, the shoot it. After Team Spirit dominating the first two games. In games three and four, LGD demonstrated that they were on a different level. Even in game four, Yatoro didn't get a single kill. right on in happy to oblige ame he's ready he wants to not relive the ghost to the past he wants to close this game four out here in style and so far he's doing it turns now onto the ancient hot out afterwards where's the fight i'm not seeing it going deathless so far they turn now into y just grips to the side oh, oh the catch on the collapse why's not dying nobody's dying they all fall again as gg is called in the draft of game five Team Spirit conceded LGD's signature Leak and Tiny combo but countered it with Collapse's signature Magnus. And Yatoro have a very good idea with Terrorblade using the Matumbaman build. Ten seconds remaining. Как честно шлю? Я куплю закуп, который покупал Матумба против нас на ТБ. Что он там купил? Яшу? Фалькон, Яша, Скадзе. Five seconds remaining. Короче, ТБ. Как чувствую? Давай ТБ, Яри, давай ТБ. All their ults up. It's gonna make any sort of steal. They've already managed to set up here. On to the Kunkka. They're gonna go straight away. Yatora coming in with a BKB. The cars holds back up on the side. Nothing to say. He's gonna go down. Out for 110. Yatora's ready to step over his next target. Looking over towards Armin. Collapse. Popping the BKB. And Poshka keeping himself alive with the cold embrace. Spirit. They'll turn over towards Armin. But Armin's still got the BKB to go. He's killed off another support. He's looking to throw on the Tokyo. Throw on the Tokyo by some of the yours. He's got another remnant. Slide him. Into the remnant of the high ground. He's away. Oh, oh, he's they are sneaking around under the covered silver edges. Mm -hmm. Watching one another. Metamorphosis is out, but so is the two wolf forms. Both teams taking it safe right now. Mm -hmm. But look at why. He's stuck oh. on the cliff. Why? <laughs> Dude, look at how carefully they're playing it. They're scared to walk yeah, up there and try to kill him. <laughs> why slash? <laughs> oh, they got him. There we go. They'll take him off the cliff. But look at Roche! Oh, oh it's killing Roche! Oh, no, he can't do it, surely. Link out to Arm Collapse, he's got his eyes on him. Still no nothing to say or why for 50 seconds. Arm is alone! He's gone in alone, that was a risky move. He's got the back of a Jin Q. But Spirit, they're gonna chase on. Slight chase, oh, no, he's oh, gone! Two minutes, no, Tiny! They're, they're not waiting for the creeps. They're ready to close it this time. Only two left. Can they stop a PSG LGD? I don't think they can! GQ's got it! It's over! It's GG! It's over! GG! They've got it! They have got it! Team Spirit! They come into the Grand Finals! Two games straight up! They take them away from PSG LGD! Game 3 and Game 4! PSG LGD! They just take them to this whole round! Indeed, Yatoro's victory with Team Spirit is a true Cinderella story, reminiscent of Team OG's journey from an underdog roster. However, what is in the spotlight is Yatoro's achievements at TI 2021 with two prestigious records that he broke at once, first, since the group phase began, he has been recorded using 19 different heroes. This is quite unusual for a first place player, considering that carries in Dota 2 typically have a more limited hero pool. Secondly, Yatoro achieved a remarkable feat at TI 2021, securing Rampages three times in matches against Invictus Gaming and Team Secret. After all these extraordinary achievements, Yatoro can be said to be the god of carry Dota 2, and in 2022 the international held in Singapore, Team Spirit comes with the hope of becoming two times TI back to back, but everything felt difficult, even Yatoro and his team had to be in the lower bracket, because he only got one win, seven draws and one loss in the group stage. And what was even sadder was that they lost on the first day in the lower bracket against Boom Esports. As refresher back up again in a second two. Ten seconds left now. 
Can they do this? Looking for it. Collapse. He's revealing himself. He'll He's push. got a ward on the right. He sees them all. They're thinking about it. Jump forward. Spear back. Arena down. Get over here. Round two with the refresher. Tim's in. They're catching. They're killing. Boom. They're doing it all. Team Spirit, they don't have the answer. There are still no buybacks. Still dead for a little while longer. They chase them down. Big blast and another one dead. Team Spirit. They're gonna take it down. Mira back up again. The crowd's getting into it. There's a third row shot, but they don't care. They want to end this game. They want to send the TI champs home. They throw the spear in to stop any blinks, to stop anything at all. Yatoro must accept an inevitable bitter defeat with Team Spirit. Perhaps many people think that the victory at TI 2021 was just a fluke because he had to face failure at the start of the TI 2022 and at the end of 2022 Team Spirit made roster changes, their mid laner Toronto Tokyo left and was replaced by Larm. Yatoro's achievements with Team Spirit after the roster change could be considered quite impressive, they even won Riyadh Masters 2023 and Dream League Season 21. The International 2023 is taking place in Seattle, and Yatoro's return with Team Spirit reflects significant changes compared to the previous TI. Yatoro demonstrated this by dominating the group stage without losing a single match, even in the upper bracket, Yatoro performed smoothly, losing only twice against VP and Team Liquid. Shot connection. Now, last tier 3 tower alive, stepping forward on the notice, down to half HP, Keratin jumps forward, starts to bring a low, will it be enough? No, the Terrorize is there, they have their answer. Here pushes back Yadro, but the stun, the Ravage, the Cataclysm times two! It's too pretty, double Ravage, double Gata, keep looking for more. Notice is about to fall again. He's going to come back into green light, but then there's not a whole lot left in the tank. But Koshka still hasn't been hit. That is Mega Creeps. Team Spirits, the favorites coming in. A triple kill as they taunt their way towards the victory. Not a whole lot left for Virtus Pro. They have looked so good. Right in the time, he gets the Abyssal Blade onto Laurel, stuck inside the Static Storm, and pops the PKD to zone, and will walk away safely. Everyone just trying to wait out this primal split now. It's collapsed. Looking for Nisha. Nullifier still applied as Laurel kind of just stuck in place. He's going to eat the cheese to survive. Nisha's dead though. As Collapse basically soloed him. Does have the buyback available. TP expenses at this moment. Looks like Mickey's going to be next on the list though. No buyback on him. That's big. No uh -oh. buyback for him. So that's a 4v5 essentially with the buyback now coming out from Nisha. Collapse for the kill onto Zai. Tornado for the time being already at half HP. He's just melting under the pressure. And that's another hero without buyback on the Liquid side. Effectively five versus three. And all is open for Spirit to potentially take this game number three. A couple of more right clicks and down go the rest of the buildings. Mega creep secured for Team Spirit. And now going for the tier four. That's the last fortification for Liquid now. Toro is using Satanic to take off first crown, not even caring about anybody. It's so much building damage. Already both tier fours down the stack, so they're putting all their efforts onto the Weaver. Laura literally ignoring everybody, along with Collapse, as they will take down the Ancient and Team Spirit secure themselves top three. And in the upper bracket final, Yatoro and Team Spirit defeated the formidable Team LGD, which was known for its strength at that time, with a score of 2-0. See Laurel here. They want to jump the Kunkka, they're going to try. But the Lincoln, there's going to be there, but new plus the BKB. They drop the Doom. Shiro jumps across. They're going to go fully in on towards Laurel. He's still pretty tanky. Can they finish him off? Collab. He'll turn the grab out of the new as the Doom gets blown up by Yatora. Shiro, he looks to finish off Laurel. Takes him so But it's going to cost him his life. Yatora and Collabs clean up Shiro as well. And Shiro and you, they're out of the game. 70 seconds without them, and now and this he decides to be oh. illusion. All right. Bro. A lot of damage to be done here. Maybe even the, the game if they want to try and force it. There's a jump point to get the RP. They get the drag back. How much damage to bring him down? They're fully focusing on the one. The only money is out to put the early effect. He's getting aggressive. He jumps in with a hang. He'll turn to one planet. Jump Look at him go. Bring that planet. He plays fully aggressive. He's really made him all the skill. He's into the bounce. The fast end is there. Nothing to say. Wall fall. Collapsing in Toro. They walk out alive. Toro. Right. 
to play aggressive with the X mine. Actually, the, the hex is about well, zero. He's, he's pretty much gone. He he's he's dead. But the same as Shiro is out of the game. He'll fight back immediately. He just solo kills him. You. It's caught by the Bramble. The fish coming in as well. Down on the two of them. Pushing back. Shiro. Why you spot Shiro? He's trying to jump over to one. But Posh He's alone. Oh, he's got him with the tide. The boat goes crashing down on the one. Shiro, you're trying to take him down a second time. Shiro out of the game for good. There's nothing to say. Four by collapse. Both dead. No buyback. Spirit. They've got everybody up. They're ready to look for more kills. Deeper. After total domination in the upper bracket, Yatoro face Team Gaimin Gladiators, the team is predicted to be the TI-12 champion due to their impressive performance in the 2023 DPC round and they managed to secure victory in all three major Dota 2 events in 2023, claiming all the trophies. But who would have thought, Yatoro comes with a bald head, like he got a bald buff. And Yatoro defeated Gaimin Gladiator in the grand final with a score of 3-0. He even achieved a rampage during the grand final. So that Deso plus the Swarm plus the AC is just going to amp this physical through the roof right now, which makes this high ground siege a lot more tempting. Here goes through the jump. BKB immediately activated by Duraccio, but there's that physical damage. Duraccio, he can't actually stand up against Yatoro and has of to back course away. He's diving. Yatoro, yeah, he's just going to go for it. See if he can oh. it. He got it! Oh, no way! The final bit of damage required. Yatoro can claim it. Yatoro boss. No MKB in sight, you're gonna have to do this the hard way. Just charge in and hope it goes your direction. Checking it out, seeing who's TTing in. Toro with the Lincolns. He's got an extra life, he's got a BKB in his backpack for that second life. Oh, and they got an opportunity from Collapse. Hold Celery out of position. All right. Raggio gonna try and use that faceless void form to be able to help out, but the Cronus here goes into work. The old scepter not actually grabbing the real one. Oh, is still up and he finishes off the morph like so easily. Now the RP gets the other two cores. Team Spirit so clean. The extra ghosts come out from the race team, but he doesn't really do anything. Ace just pops BKB on the second life. They do manage to get another pick here on his salary. He tries to jump forward. They've got nothing left in the tank on gaming. Gladiators, they are all gonna fall. They're gonna throw their damage around. The Chiefs actually getting popped as Goliath's got a little bit low, but into the foul, Carl goes. Into the no, Daryl Tofu's gonna deny him. Inspector has to win this now, but he has to be has able to, to that something. dazzle. They have to be able to take away this Aegis at the bare minimum. Surely they have to go for more. They have to risk it. Collapse is gonna charge on through to make sure you can't sit up on Yatora. Now Yatora will turn back around on you. He's ready for that fight. He pulls back into Durachio. This could be it for Gaming Gladiators. And let's find a way out of it. Quinn's dead next. Now Durachio, a dive back for him. He falls. Tofu's pulled back in. He is pulled to his death, down into his grave. Quinn, last man standing for Gaming Gladiators. He's back up. We'll see what he can do to stall this out. Gonna need one hell of a primal split here. Yatoro starts pushing forward. Mira doesn't quite get it there, and they actually stop the Spirit Breaker right in front of their base, but they're locked in by the shards. Quinn's able to hop around it, but now the Slip Up, it holds him in place. He can't do anything against that, but at least the Brewmaster can. Get and they the kick him in. The throat is exploded, and now he's been pushed Welcome back. to hell. Oh, no. It is too much for Gaming Gladiators to be able to handle. They are not going to be able to get through this. They have to pray to get out, but the Cathedral is merciless. It is Team Spirit who are unstoppable. They will take it. Every other team, 3-0. Oh. Absolutely an incredible performance in the Grand Finals against the best team in the season, an undefeated Grand Final team in Gaming Gladiators. For the second time, Yatoro lifted the Aegis of the champion, becoming a two-time TI winner alongside OG. Without a doubt, he has established himself as the best Dota 2 carry. With a convincing score of 3-0, it might seem like Team Spirit's path was too easy. However, it's important to remember that they faced formidable opponents before Gaimi, who was also a very strong team at that time. Yatoro and Team Spirit demonstrated their strength, proving that they were stronger than everyone. Yatoro with all his achievements, holds the title of the first position player with the largest hero pool and the record for the most rampages in TI history. Despite these accomplishments, he remains a humble person, he even added the Chinese character, Ame, to his nickname and did not change it after winning TI-12. In this way, he immortalized the name of Wang Chunyu, or Ame, a legend of Chinese Dota 2, on the Aegis of Champions.
and that story of Yatorigod.